This is a video demonstration of the Los Angeles, LA classification of gastroesophageal reflux disease, which ranges from mild or grade A to severe or grade D. LA grade A reflux disease is defined by one or more mucosal breaks no longer than 5 mm that does not extend between the tops of two mucosal folds. This is demonstrated in this patient with the tip of the gastroscope at the gastroesophageal junction. The esophagus is inflated to assess pathology in an accurate manner. As you will see in this still image, there are few mucosal breaks which are less than 5 mm in diameter. and these mucosal breaks do not extend between the tops of two or more mucosal folds. LA grade B reflux disease is defined by one or more mucosal breaks more than five millimeters long and do not extend between the tops of two mucosal folds. In this patient, you will see the esophagus is examined and there are mucosal breaks more than five millimeters long. Clearly, they do not extend between the tops of mucosal folds. This is another view of the same pathology with the additional finding of a short tongue of Barrett's esophagus at the 11 o'clock position. LA grade C reflux disease is defined by one or more mucosal breaks that are continuous between the tops of two or more mucosal folds, but which involve less than 75% of the circumference. You will note in this particular patient, mucosal breaks are longer than 5 mm and extend between the tops of mucosal folds. However, they involve less than 75% of the esophageal circumference. Therefore, this is consistent with a diagnosis of grade C reflux disease. LA grade D reflux disease is defined by one or more mucosal breaks that involve at least 75% of the esophageal circumference. This is demonstrated in this patient who has ulceration in the mucosa involving the whole of the circumference of the esophagus. With grade D reflux disease, there is a higher risk of developing peptic strictures, as demonstrated in this patient.